Hello guys, it's Dredska, and today I have another tutorial video from Men of War Assault Squad 2, just for you. Now I want to make it clear, I know I've been gone for a while, and that's mostly due to the fact I was asked by the developers of Men of War to make official in-game tutorials that you can view in-game. And while this is pretty cool, I was actually forced against my will to create a soul-eating artillery dick-stroking tutorial, and that is, that's not cool, so I'm going to set the record straight with this video. And if you don't already know my stance on artillery, you're about to, so I just want to clear my conscience with this video because it hurt me inside when I was making the one for them. And by the way, if you're interested, these in-game tutorials will be released in the next patch on February 19th, just as long as Instinct doesn't let us down again. And just an FYI, they are completely useless, so don't waste your time viewing them. Uh, they're pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Unless you want to hear more of my sweet and sexy voice. That's, that's the, basically the only reason why you'd want to view these videos. Anyway, that's enough talk. Let's go to step one. Never buy howitzer-type guns. And before I go into any further detail, uh, this was a complete accident. You just got to check out how cool this is. So yeah, that um, I, I couldn't not show that. I couldn't uh, talk over that. That was just uh, I just had to throw that in there. Anyway, so yeah, artillery is pretty useless. But I feel as though I need to convince many of you otherwise, because you're probably thinking, "What the fuck am I saying?" And right here is just one of the many ways you can kill enemy artillery. And it's called far shooting. It's just a little uh, tidbit here. If you just aim at the target and then aim at the green dot on the object that's in front of you or in between you and the target, and you can shoot at it, and the shell will go through the target and they'll go all the way and kill your enemy. So it's uh, it's really effective, and I don't think a lot of people know about that, so maybe you can do that and uh, kill a lot of things that way. So now let's look at what happens when your opponent decides to buy an artillery, and the alternatives to buying your own counter-artillery to counter his or Carly's. All units cost CP, control points, and in normal games, that's set to 100 CP, which I, uh, by the way, I highly recommend you play with that, and I showed that in Duplex's video just because the game is balanced for that. And you can see here, I'm going to attack this defense, and he's using an artillery piece. In my case, my opponent is using the M112 mortar carriage. And this costs around 28 control points. I'm pretty sure that's right. Anyway, this limits him to only using a chaffee, which is only 13 CP, and less infantry as opposed to not using artillery. Here, I have no problem attacking using my 222 and a Panzer IV G, along with plenty of infantry, no artillery required. And by the way, my G gets main gunned right before my attack. So I can't even use that in the attack, and I still have no problem taking his point, just because of the amount of CP the artillery is taking up. So apart from a few kills in the beginning on my troops, the long reload time and inaccuracy had zero impact on me successfully taking his flag, apart from it holding up 28 of his own control points. And now let's take a look at the MP side of things. How many times using artillery have you actually gone over 100% effectiveness, aside from some lucky one-shots on tanks? Not so much. And to explain my point further, in the next patch, the Hummel's going to cost 900 MP. That's a 100 MP reduction from the 1,000 that's in the current game. And for ease, we're going to say a rifleman costs 10 MP, which most do. That means you'd have to kill 90 infantrymen just to break even cost effectivity-wise. And we aren't in the game to break even. There are many more units out there to properly take out infantry and defenses much more efficient than artillery pieces can. And I'll go over all those in detail in my next tutorial video. And speaking of videos, my goal is going to be to upload two videos a week and at least one tutorial video every other week from now on. And I'll admit this artillery one was kind of light just to get back in the swing of things. I still hope you enjoyed it. And if you're still not 100% sure, you can 1v1 me using artillery. You can see who wins. Anyway, as always, I'm going to leave you with an epic clip. I hope you enjoy. I can't do anything. Watch your left, Andy. Right. Why is that? What I can't. the hell is going on? What the? Yeah, Why did that happen? happen? Seriously? Oh, I get the H. <sighs> nice. Me. That's what I'm talking about. Run up to the guy. Nice. Seriously? What the fuck? Little Toby, little Toby.